Welcome learners to another division in biology. We have a question here. Very interesting question, by the way. This is two top periods and this is genus for online school. Figure 4.1 shows four different types of human teeth. The canine, incisors, molar, and the premolar. Now, figure 4.2 also shows a diagram of a position of the different types of teeth. So they are, they are showing us where these teeth are positioned in the mouth. There's P, Q, R, and S. Complete the table 4.1 by writing the names, positions, and function of the different types of teeth which are being shown uh, in this figure. So you can see there are these teeth here. All these, they correspond to any of that, right? depending on where it is positioned. All right, so where do you think... So all what we need to do is identify what R is from these, R S is from those, and so forth. So what is R? R is what? Here. What do we find here? What do we find here? From this, it's the canine incisor to or what? So the one here, which is a little bit sharper, these are the canine. So you find the canine there. All right? Now what's the function of the canine? Well, it is used for tearing. Okay? So, so using for um, cutting. Sometimes even for biting. No. Incisors. Which one here is the incisors? The, the ones that are in front of you here. The ones that we see first when you smile. Alright, so that is S. The function. The function, they are also used for cutting. They are also used for tearing. They are also used for biting. Yes. I don't know if the spelling for biting is correct. Sorry. Good. Alright, so it's fine. Next is the incisors. They have written, sorry. Uh, this one, there is nothing, but it's, for, it's, it's used for grinding. Which one is used for grinding only? That's, those are the molars. The molars are the ones that are used for grinding only. So which, where are the molars? Of course, the molars are P. They're quite bigger. At the end there. And then, premolar tearing. Which one? Q. If you wire up on a name, eh? Wire up on a tearing, na cutting, na biting. Teeth can develop dental decay. Explain how dental decay is caused. Again, I'm not going to write the whole paragraph here for you. No, 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 no. I'm a teacher. I don't provide laziness. I don't even condone laziness myself. So I'm going to give you points. At the end of the day, you are going to make your own sentences. After all, we differ the way we, we reason. I'll just give you points. How you connect them, it is up to you. But those are the key points that bring about tooth decay. How you connect them, it's up to you. All right? Point number one. Anytime time we talk of tooth decay, the first thing is that there must be some food left on the teeth. So, the point number one is, is food left on the what? Hmm? On them on the teeth. Number two, what happened? After that food is left on the teeth, there's some bacteria there. Alright? So bacteria. Presence. Number three is what happens when the bacteria are there? Bacteria uh, respire. Bacteria respire. The sugar. Remember that the food in the mouth contains sugar. And when these bacteria are present there, they are going to make sure that the sugar respires. But... And when, sh and when uh, that sugar undergoes respiration, all right, there will be acid that will be produced. So, acid, acid produced. All right. Acid what? Produced. Now, what happens when the acid is produced? The acid 
dissolves the enamel. Not only do they dissolve the enamel, but they also dissolve the dentine. Okay? That's all. That's all. At the end of the day, causing dental decay. With these points, can you fail to come up with a sentence and join them together? Unless you don't learn English. You can't fail. Describe two ways to avoid tooth decay. Again, you are likely to make a sentence of your own here. I'm just going to give you points. Clean. Clean teeth. Clean the teeth. All right? To good. Or um, hygiene. Apart from that, um, of course, as you clean the tooth, please use uh, fluoride. Toothpaste. Are you together, right? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else do, do you think? Avoid sugary food. Okay. Another one is visit the dentist regularly. Visit them. Okay. Others they use flossing. There are quite ways we can avoid dental decay, but they just wanted to, and I've given you a lot of here. All right, so please revise, revise.